So, Disney's purchase of Lucasfilm uh, obviously was quite expensive. Uh, they then obviously had to spend a large, large copious amounts of money developing uh, some films. The profit, the actual net profit, not gross, the net profit from those films actually does not even cover the cost of buying Lucasfilm at this point. Uh, and this is a, a Forbes piece. There's not really any point going into the nitty gritty of it all. Um, that is that is the overview that the profit from these Star Wars films has not managed to, to cover the cost of buying Lucasfilm. Now, I don't know whether, you know, other things will, say like merchandise, but I doubt it. And furthermore, I also think massively on this is they're still running at a huge loss because if you start to factor in the Disney Plus uh, series that don't earn literally anything, mm. they're well in uh, the red on this. Like yeah, massive, yeah. massive, massive loss. Yeah. So what do you guys think? Well, look, I'm going to jump in front of this one because I know that the guy that's going to talk yeah. the most is right below me. <laughs> but I'm going to say this. Um, the, you're $6 billion into Star Wars if you count the two theme park expansions. They've got another one planned at one of the international parks here soon. Um, you know, you had $4.04 billion plus a billion dollars for each of those theme park lands. You're at $6.04 billion minimum. Then you spent a bunch of money making these films. We've recently revealed the actual authentic budget numbers for the first movie, uh, F The Force Awakens. And that those numbers are significantly higher than you would have anticipated, mm -hmm. nearing $500 million, if not more, without the UK tax incentives, which I know Disney loves you for. Thanks, Mr. H. Way to go. And um, you have you, you have all of that not totaling a, a box office retail that will even bring them close to recovering the money that they've spent so far. They are well underwater on star wars they've destroyed the merchandise brands across the board the only things they can sell are the classic things which they are trying to quote unquote cobweb or obscure mm. or obfuscate with all of this neo-marxist leftist presentation that you've gotten from disney star wars so what does that tell you that tells you that they will never get out from underneath the debt that they put themselves in to make this thing happen because they're not willing to admit failure and put the original trilogy stuff into these two theme park lands and to lean into the original trilogy and develop uh, developing something along the original lines of the trilogy to actually make people care again. Those are my thoughts. Mm -hmm. I want to hear what Nick has to think. So. No, I mean, culture spot on. Uh, and, and the funny thing is if you scroll down in this article, they actually have like a graph showing all the, the movies that were released in the box office, you know, none of that's covering right there. None of that's, that's just covering the theatrical movies. That's not covering any of the shows or any of that. But the funny thing is you, you don't see any of the marketing costs on this graph either. Mm. They haven't taken any of that into consideration uh when doing this so if you look at this that last bar that shows their uh their net profit loss is actually a lot lower like, like literally cut all those in like half you know mm. uh so you i mean you're looking at rise of skywalker being a net profit loss solo being at a larger net profit loss and these other ones you know are are uh are all of them are at a loss all of them, well, ex except for maybe the Force Awakens, it might have made a little, a little bit, you know, uh, but it wasn't significant, n not for a, a four, a little over four billion dollar purchase, you know. Literally, Lucasfilm is making Disney no money. Nothing they are doing since Disney has owned them has brought them in any money. You know, all that it has done is pushed the fan base of all the properties that it owns. Indiana Jones, Willow, Star Wars has pushed all these people away. Uh, and it's mm -hmm. reduced the size of their audience instead of growing their audience. And this uh, this uh, net profit loss margins and stuff, it's going to keep going down. Uh, I mean, until somebody goes in there and cleans house and turns that whole ship around, which I don't see Disney and Lucasfilm doing at all, uh, nothing is changing uh with with them in the star wars ip or or indiana jones or willow or any of the other ones that they own uh it's just gonna it's gonna keep going same way it's been going which is right down the the gutter mm. 
Yeah, I mean, so, uh, you know, it, it, it's tricky in terms of trying to understand what they, uh, adding this with like merchandise and things like that. Um, you know, if, if you, if you're, if you're trying to add the, I mean, merchandise, it's a very difficult one to, to sort of speculate on in terms of how much they would have made from it. Um, mm. cause merchandise is generally speaking where a lot of the, you know, the, the sort of money can be made. Uh, from a lot of these things, George um, made most all his money off all the merch from the original trilogy. Mm. Uh, but uh, Ollie's is really reaping the benefits of all the leftovers that nobody's buying of all the Star Wars crap that they're. Are they out though? There. They're getting it stuck with it, basically. I would. Yeah, say. I mean, I mean, yeah, they're 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 pretty much getting stuck with it. I mean, they're I, I, everything's going there. I mean, you you can literally go to any of those discount stores and you'll you'll see it everywhere. Uh, I mean, all these five below, um, yeah. you know, any of those places that have the discount stuff, I, I, I can't even believe it. I mean, obviously, uh, you know, we have people in our fellowship who do toy videos that show off all of that, but then you have, you know, my personal experiences and an anecdotal as it may be, you walk into a store and I can buy an action figure that was selling for, you know, in the $20 range for like two, three. I mean, yeah. it's like mm -hmm. it's it's dumb, and and Disney has done it as I think Nick pointed out with all of its IPs. They've run them all into the ground. Nobody wants it. But mm -hmm. and the other thing is, and Carolyn Reed can't know what the, the what the advertising spend is. By the way, she's one of the best reporters over at Forbes. She really does try to get deep into these stories. If she ever finds out and has to revise these numbers, I think she's going to recognize what we've been saying all along that despite the fact that hey, your um your uh, A and P your your, your ads and print stuff that you spend or marketing budget, whatever you want to call it. Um, when you spend that, it's that it, you can write it off, but it, because it's an investment in it, but at the same mm. time, you know, the, the, you still spent that money and yes, it, you know, there's, there's some things like that. So there's no, there's no, it, it reduces the net profit. So I, you look at this and how much money they've spent over time. They're nowhere close. They've lost more, more money than you can even imagine. And their licensing deals are evaporating because nobody wants to buy the ability to make star wars toys dude it put hasbro out of business yeah i mean you know mm. I, I just look at look at this stuff i mean yes hasbro's still in business don't misunderstand me but it is headed downward in fact all of these brands that are leaning into this ideological crap are headed down quicker than you could possibly imagine with massive amounts of layoffs including at disney which i'm sure we'll talk about later mm. well there you go i just thought this was fascinating uh tom do you want to you got anything to add to this, mate? Just how bad this is. I like turtles. <laughs> God damn. I mean, you could try. Try. No, I mean, culture said it best at this point. Uh, or, well, Nick and culture, the, the toys were where the money was. The video games yes, are yes. another big part of that. Um, merchandising, merchandising, merchandising. I mean, that dwarfed the amount of money that lucasfilm made on the films the films are just like a plate right yeah. it's the, everything else is the the actual main course right the the toys the posters the t-shirts the everything you, you baby yoda was another one of those things that was a huge thing for him but even that's kind of wore off at this point they have nothing and when you're ostracizing your fans the way they are i mean are you surprised this is um actually quite a good article to be honest this is from jedi temple archives uh, and they cover quite a lot of stuff here it's been finding this in the background um it's uh yeah it's an interesting one so they say uh where is it blah 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 look at merchandise so this person's gonna be generous we know that hasbro alone has made about 490 million dollars with star wars in 2015 and according to industry analysts, 750 million of Star Wars merchandise was sold in the US in total in 2015. So this does not include foreign markets. Let's be generous and say the US accounts for 60% of Star Wars worldwide merchandise sales, probably be more. Let's also assume Disney receives about 23% of wholesale revenue as royalty fees, plus guaranteed minimums. We do not have numbers for the minimum guarantees, none, mm. so we can only guess. So let's say worldwide revenue with star wars merchandise since 2012 amounts to say seven billion dollars this is a very generous estimate if disney received 23 percent of that 
their share is about $1.6 billion. Minimum guarantees exist, and we know nothing about them, though. Let's err in Disney's favor and say Hasbro paid about $250 million in minimum guarantees since 2019, 2012, sorry. And since Hasbro is the main licensee, all the smaller licensees, the ones who make coffee mugs, pillows, and other knickknacks, maybe also pay another $250 million combined, make that $600 million. This is a very simplistic and generous calculation. It would it would result in profits of $2.2 billion of merchandise since 2012, which is more or less in line with previous eras. Merchandise always made a lot more money than movies. Of course, Disney share is calculated based on wholesale prices, not retail prices. So actual profit will be lower. Mm. Um, but to be super generous, to provide a best case scenario for Disney and Star Wars. Um it does all this sort of thing down here. So if Disney's profit with Star Wars thus far is movies, 700 million, home media, 500 million, merch, 2.2, games, 1.1, profit, 4.5. Um, but it keeps going down and down and down. Uh, so for profit for Star Wars, after we deduct production costs for various TV shows, it's $3.6 billion, maybe a bit more, since Disney didn't necessarily lose all of the production costs put into Star Wars on Disney+. Plus. They earned some money with subscriptions, just not enough. All in all, Disney lost $11 billion total with Disney Plus since 2019, a massive mm. amount. So most of the production costs for the Disney Plus shows and licensing costs for things mm. like Bluey were certainly not recouped. This is a great article. Yeah, she's awesome. It goes into like Indy 5 and stuff like that, down to $3.25 billion. Star Wars alone is $3.6 billion. In total, about $800 million short of the acquisition costs. Literally, no matter what way you look at it, even with merchandise in there, <laughs> they're still down. Oh, now theme parks. We know that each Star Wars theme park costs about $1 billion to construct. Yep. The failed mm. hotel cost $400 million to construct and resulted in a gigantic $300 million write-off. The hotel never made money, but we can't say how ongoing costs for the hotel were. It is unlikely that Galaxy's Edge theme park profits... Um, blah 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 so it exceeds the total construction cost of 2.4 billion dollars both parks have been around since may 2019 so about five years it's unlikely to combine profit for both parks especially considering covid interrupted business exceeds 408 million per year factoring covid enclosures severe limitations it brought and you have to add the 800 million dollars still missing to recoup the lucasfilm acquisition costs so the galaxy's edge theme parks are required to have made a profit of about 3.2 billion plus whatever the ongoing costs are to run the parks in five years for Disney to break even with all the Star Wars and Lucasfilm, all costs considered, even if you disregard the Indy 5 and Willow flops, it is still very unlikely. Uh... <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. yeah, there's no way they're in in profit from what they from what they've That's spent crazy. from the time they bought it to right now. I mean, because they bought it for a little over four billion, but then all the money they've invested and spent on it, mm. trying to, you know, build it up to recoup some of that money, is well beyond that initial yeah. four billion that they spent. That's so funny. Uh, so yeah, they are always they down. have they have not recouped recouped any of, of the of the money. I mean, they are so far in the red; it's ridiculous. I, again, th that's why everybody's like, "How's Kathleen Kennedy still have a job? Like, yeah. how did she get a contract renewal? Like, none of it makes sense." Uh, got, got skeletons in the closet. Yeah, T nails like when sunk cost fallacy becomes inadequate. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Mm. Very uh, says, much. You guys, we've been re we've been remiss in our criticism. KK has managed to create the world's first perpetual motion device. It's just that the direction is down. <laughs> <laughs> That is so true. Oh, down, dear. down, down. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Um, anything else to add to this? And then we'll, we'll, we'll shuffle on. I don't see I it think. changing anytime soon. I mean, we got big, big hitters coming up with the Acolyte and, oh, uh, <laughs> and babysitters in space. Oh, uh, so, I mean, I th 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 that should really turn the franchise around, right? <laughs> I think so. I yeah. think Wait, so. Wait, come on, come on. Skeleton crew. Skeleton crew. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Uh, real quick, Donovan Bradford, been a member for 35 months, says, given the numbers, will the Disney purchase of Lucasfilm be the worst in film history? Yeah. Yes. It will be one of them. 100%. Yeah, uh, they were yeah, handed without. gold. Gold. You could have printed your own money. You had the original cast yeah. 
already in locked into contracts. Ready to go. Ready, ready to, to go. go. I mean, you had a money printing machine and you squandered no. it. Like this is this will go down as the worst fail in movie history of all time. I can't think of yeah. anything worse than what's happened to Lucasfilm and Star Wars. Yeah. Um